Hello everybody and welcome back to Formula Talks and today we're doing another video on Storm Hagabis and this is a storm that's been developing in the southern Pacific for the last couple of days it's been getting stronger and stronger and it could pose a threat to the Japanese Grand Prix so I did a video up yesterday explaining what's going on with the storm and now we're going to be having a look at all of the updates and see what is going on. So here's a satellite image at the moment this is from seven minutes ago eight minutes ago now really strong it's a category five super typhoon at the moment so it's the strongest classification you could actually get and we'll go to wind gusts at the moment and i mean look it's so powerful and it's only going to strengthen by the looks of it if you look if we move it forward now uh on to about tuesday so just tomorrow 117 knot winds in places and it's gonna potentially start to weaken you can see here, you start to see more white patches rather than yellow. Indicates it's starting to weaken just a little bit now. The yellow patch is getting smaller and sort of lighter. So now we're on to Thursday. So this is, well actually this is just about when all the drivers are doing all of their press briefings, talking to the media, of course. And let's see what the rain's like there. It's actually potentially going to be raining because Suzuka is... As you can see right there, and there's just this outer band of rain all out of, of this storm now. So we're going to go back to wind gusts again, and we're going to go through to free practice one. So this is for free practice one, Friday at 1 a.m. at UK time. And look at that, that is the outer bands, and potentially Suzuka may have got away with it here. Of course, it will depend, because take this with a grain of salt, this is a sort of worst case scenario. And I think Suzuka's potentially a little bit far out to be affected by this. We could get some dry running on Friday. But then we go into the afternoon session, and the rain has definitely started to come in a little bit more now. You can see these heavier patches starting to get a little bit closer. And, of course, there is Hagabis getting closer and closer. So now we move on to Saturday. So Saturday morning now. This is roughly the time of qualifying an FP2. Oh, FP3, sorry. And, well, it's, um, there's a Hagabis at the bottom left, obviously, and there's some more, much more heavy rain bands around here. So if we just have a look at Suzuka, how much wind they, uh, how much rain they're expected to be getting is, if I can get the little thingy to pop up, which it's not, so we'll just stick on board with this. It's, um, I think 10 millimetres of rain expected, which is obviously quite a lot. Uh, for F1 cars to be racing in as well. So heavy rain as well forecasted. We'll go on now. As you can see, the storm comes in about Saturday at 1pm. And then by the time we reach Sunday, it's, it's pretty much past. Of course, we've still got the tail end affecting Suzuka a little bit, which is there. So we've still got the, the main storm has actually passed at this point. We'll go back to the wind gusts. As you can see, it has passed because there's Suzuka. So I think by the time we now get to Sunday 7 a.m., it's a little bit better. It is a little, little bit better. So we'll just have a quick look around here. Still 60 knot wind gusts, very powerful. But if we go on sort of sustained winds, it's only 18 knot. As you can see, the storm has really weakened now in cooler water, and it's passed, and it's just been disrupted by the land in Japan. And now we can see it's it's a lot better it's a lot better but then of course we go back to wind gusts so 60 knots is a very very large amount to be racing in especially and uh, that's where we currently stand so rain as well potentially actually because the main storm is of course going to be sucking up all of that rain it's going to be bringing in all of the moisture then actually around it there won't be much rain so potentially we might even end up with a dry race which is definitely possible and would be a surprise Obviously, we're now going to look at cyclocane, which I'll just quickly refresh. I find this a really, really useful website for tracking storms. It seems to be fairly accurate and takes on all of the international models. It's currently a Category 5 hurricane. We knew that. Uh, this is about six hours ago, so maybe a better one that would be... Um, no, it's, yeah, it would be about... It's about there at the moment in the middle. Uh, so, as you can see, we've got uh, 150 knot winds, which then it comes to Category 4 hurricane, which is still very powerful with 135 knot winds. But then by the time it hits Japan, we're only down to a Category 2 now. So as you can see, as it enters cooler water, it really starts to just sort of die down a little bit. It's still, of course, really powerful and a danger. But don't, over, don't overlook it at all. You should still be concerned, obviously, because it could have an impact on the race. Um, I'm just trying to find the best place to look for it 
Uh, of course, you can see Hagibis right here in the satellite image. And it's just going to be sort of taking, it's going to start curving very soon if we go back to Windy uh, and go to Windy Gust so we can see the storm a little bit easier. It's going to start taking that turn that we were expecting around, or just about now really, it's starting, it's still travelling sort of east, uh, westwards at the moment. And then just about on Tuesday, it's going to start turning upwards a little bit more. And its curve is really going to happen. There's high pressure to the left of it, which is just turning it, pushing it to the right-hand side while it's traveling. And then, uh, yeah, it's moving up and through Japan Saturday here and then Sunday at the time of the race. As you can see now, it's pretty much past. Uh, of course, it's still uh, potentially got big effects. This storm is still near enough a week away, so this could change so much. The storm could be weaker, it could be stronger, it could end up to the east, it could end up to the west, it could hit on a different day. And there's, there's a lot of wise at the moment, and it always is with storms. We can't really predict how quick they're going to be travelling. And uh, because of the high pressure, it probably will actually slow down a little bit, because it'll be pushed upwards, it'll be pushed more northwards, so the speed will decrease a little bit. Maybe there's a chance even, if we look at the international models, it could end up in other places. But this is a most sort of fixed. I've seen the international model was actually the spaghetti model. Really, they're all predicting that turn. You can see there's quite a few different models involved here. If we zoom in, there's loads of different models, and they're all pretty much expecting the same thing to happen, meaning it's pretty much a shoe in at the moment. So definitely, if you're going to Japan, don't be too concerned um, necessarily. Uh, it'll probably probably be safe enough. If you're visiting the Grand Prix, of course, I'm sure they will make sure that everything is safe and you're safe yourself, because, of course, safety is the most important thing. Uh, but, of course, this storm could pose a danger to life, depending on how powerful it is, and um, it's definitely, definitely something to be uh, wary of as you're there. And, of course, drivers as well, after Jules Bianchi in 2014, it's going to be, it's going to really play on their minds. That was a typhoon as well. It's a really, um, really sort of close to a lot of fans at the moment and maybe we could see uh some news from the fia in the coming days but of course the storm could move it could all change and we could see uh different paths it takes so we'll have to see it, it really could change and i'm assuming on thursday we'll get a couple of course there's going to be more media around in uh suzuka and there'll be a lot of questions asked about it if it's still on target to hit suzuka so or hit uh sort of eastern japan but uh, I think we've pretty much summed it up in this video and basically watch out for Saturday. Saturday looks to be the worst affected at the moment. And then the storm sort of passes in the 24 hours between qualifying and the race. So hopefully that's when we get the worst of it and uh, we can get racing and have qualifying and everything unaffected. So that's us for Formula Talk for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And of course, I'll be doing more updates on Tropical Storm. Well, no, Super Typhoon Category 5 Hagibis now. Very, very powerful storm. It's going to be set to weaken before it hits Japan, though. It'll probably be about Category 2, according to Cyclocane. We looked at a second ago. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. We'll be doing some more updates daily on this channel. We're back with hopefully regular uploads now. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode of Formula Talk or this news update. While we are tracking um, basically Super Typhoon Hagabiths, and I don't think we'll be able to say Super Typhoon for much longer because it is set to weaken. But I think for the next day or two, it will be tracking Super Typhoon Hagabiths. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next. I was going to say next week. It's not next week at all. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.